what I'm about to tell you is the most deepest secret that they've hidden from each and every individual who is living right now, all of us, including our wonderful police officers. Every single person has this deepest, most hidden truth that is a truth. Don't take my word upon it, but I challenge each and every one of you to do your research. A lot of people have heard about it, but it's not until you actually dig to the core, the root, that you will truly understand consciously what I'm about to say. And it's very important because this one hidden secret truth that is out there right now that a lot of people have heard about is what's going to set us free. It's what's going to give the power back to you and I, we the people. Well, what is it? At birth, each and every one of us have been unlawfully converted. And I'm gonna say it in the most simple way possible, and I'm gonna say it in the most generic way possible. Everything I'm telling you is 100% the truth, and I challenge each and every one of you to dig down, because once you learn and you consciously understand what's going on and what happened, and we rise together, which by the way, clear across the globe, we are rising to come to this one secret truth that has been hidden for the longest period of time. God bless you. You know, we're all standing here talking about, let's get rid of Bill this, let's get rid of that, let's get bring the guns, gun ban off, let's get rid of, well, let's come to the first of all to understand how are they even able to get away with doing such criminal, traitorous activities? How are they able to do it? My brothers and sisters, I'll tell you how they're able to do it. The current system they have set up right now has not been set up for you and I, okay? The current system they have right now, they've set it up for themselves from years, many years ago. Now, let's stop and think about this. The government's whole sole purpose of what we, the mass, should know is we are the employers and they are the employees. Am I not correct? Yeah. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to be. But what is happening today, that's not going on. It looks like somehow they were able to reverse it. Somehow we are the employees and they are the dictators who tell us what to do and we end up paying them and literally giving them our money, giving them our rights and we have no say. Zip your mouth, wear a mask and get, get to stay in your house. So how has this tyrannical measure happened? Okay, so let's start from the root. This unlawful conversion that has happened to each and every one of you, and by the way, by the end, I'm going to tell you guys how we're going to reverse this and take back the power and bring it to we the people. Yeah. Amen. Because we need solutions. We don't just need issues. We need solutions. Well, each one of us, okay, have been unlawfully converted at birth. What does that mean? So when you actually uh, are born to this earth, First of all, God put you, God our creator created you, your parents created you, and brought you to this earth. So when you were born, you were born with the rights from who? Our creator, God. But it wasn't until this unlawful, illegal, service corporation of Canada converted us unlawfully, and I'll explain how, at birth, and now claimed jurisdiction over you, claiming property, you're going to hear these terms. I'm going to start explaining more about what they mean. But they took and held control over you by unlawfully converting you. How? Well, there's a thing called Black's Law, and it's Black's Law Dictionary. You've got to research it. It's pretty much the law that the service corporations have set up themselves. What happens at birth is when you're born, especially even here in Edmonton, you're given a registration of live birth. Okay? You will take a look at your name. Your name is in all lowercase letters. You guys and gals have probably heard about this, but it's very important we understand the details. It's in all lowercase letters. Now, it's not until you go and I challenge every one of you right now. I can instantly be called a liar. Challenge every one of you right now to take out your driver's license that this service corporation of Canada gave to you. And you're going to find out there's a hidden truth on that driver's license. Your last name or first name or all, normally it's the last name now, is in all capitalized letters. Let me tell you something. There's a reason why it's in all capitalized letters. When you take a look at your bank statement, go look at your statement. It's in all capitalized letters. Well, let me tell you something. If I capitalize over this lady, what am I doing? I'm capitalizing on her. I'm taking control over her. 
That is a trespass that I am doing on this beautiful lady. I am trespassing, I'm capitalizing. According to Black's Law, when you capitalize anything, it turns into a corporation, an entity, a fictitious entity. We are all right now walking and acting in the capacity of what this unlawful, illegal corporation has created out of each and every one of us. We are acting in that capacity of the all capitalized letters. Now, in the middle of this, I'm going to tell you, if anybody here in Canada wants to learn more about this in the extreme details, you go to awarriorcalls.com. There's a gentleman by the name of Chris who is, I'm going to be talking more about this, but awarriorcalls.com, who he basically explains everything from the start all the way to the end. And in the next couple months, we're reversing the tables where we, the people, have the power back. And I'm going to explain. God bless you all. So we the people are going to reverse this and I'm going to explain how, but first of all, what happens is when they capitalize, they put the all caps letters, it turns you in. See, here's the hierarchy typically of what's called the law of the land. The law of the land was the original law that when God put us, you can know, known as the Ten Commandments, for example, when God put us on this earth, he gave us dominion over the earth, right? He gave us dominion over the earth. So it goes God, it goes the man and woman. Okay, and then it goes the government, right? Remember, we started off with saying, we are the employers. They are the employees. So the true lawful law of the land is where God, our creator, man and woman, and then it goes the government, and underneath that are our beautiful and amazing police officers, which we stand for, which are there to serve and protect us. God bless. Amen. And then underneath that is the corporation, a corporations, these corporations, these illegal corporations, these service corporations, okay? So here's the thing. What happened was these tyrannical governments back in the day said, okay, men and women are walking with all this power and I want to find a way to capitalize on the man and woman and take them from their hierarchy of being literally second in line, first in line besides God. I want to take them from there and I want to bring them down underneath me. So how do I do that? Well, that's what they created. They created your identification card so that you can basically be capitalized and be a corporation, a fictitious entity. I mean, take a look around. How many people have you guys and gals tried to go and wake up? This is living proof. Hey, did you know the masks don't work? Did you know? And they're so separated from the conscious living man or woman, right? They don't know who they are. They're walking around like zombies. No, seriously, that's how disconnected we are. So they've taken away, think about this. They've at birth unlawfully converted us. Now, how is it unlawful? Well, guess what? The law of the land, which is by the way called common law, not the common law you typically hear uh, in the, the man and woman, okay, who are married and stay. No, I'm talking the real law of the land is called common law. And I am going to tell you, we are restoring the common law back to the people in the next couple months here in Canada. Amen. We are, we will, this, they cannot stop us. They will not stop us. We will restore it back because it gives the power back to we the people. Now what happens is, so the common law is the, the law of the land. And what we've done, what we, what the, what, sorry, what they have done was they've, un, they, when, when you're born, they take your, your, you have to consciously, you have to consciously make a choice in any type of contract you're, you're going to get yourself into, right? Let's think about this. If I can't just come to you and uh, let's just say, for example, you have a shovel in your garage. Well, that shovel is your property. It's not my property, right? I can't just come open your garage, take your property and leave. If I do that, what's going to happen? You're going to definitely sue me, get the police at my house and arrest me because that's your property. Well, how come this government right now that we're seeing can do that to us? Because what we don't realize is that all caps letter, that identification card that you're walking in right now, that is how they are controlling us. That is how they are saying we are acting in that capacity because let me tell you, the law of the land says he or she who creates controls. 
Did you create that identification card? Yes or no? Did the Service Corporation of Canada create that identification card? Yes or no? Yeah. So what they're doing right now, this is a reality, this is truth. And this is for all the police officers to understand because it's happened to them as well. What this Service Corporation of Canada is doing is getting you to act in the capacity of the all capitalized letter in that identification card. When they say, and they take you to the courts, and they say, Mr. Thomas Jefferson, step to the stand. You're walking and acting in the capacity of that all cap letters. And because they created that identification card, and you're willingly saying, yes, I'm so-and-so, but unconsciously doing it, this is how they're controlling us with all these measures. So now the first step is to be consciously aware to what I just said. Because once you're consciously aware to what I just said, your mind is going to start opening up to learning a lot more of what's going on, what has happened ever since the start. Thank you. So, so now that we know and understand that we've been at birth converted, unconsciously converted at birth, so we need to, we need to, to learn how to, and if we even have a solution to stepping outside what's called that jurisdiction. You see, the current jurisdiction that they're getting us to act upon is the Service Corporation of Canada. And if you dig and do your research, you'll find out that this is literally nothing but a service corporation that is unlawfully and illegally formed. Canada never federated with each of the provinces. You gotta dig deeper into that to find out the information, but let's talk to General. But they've, they've done it. Now at birth, remember, People say, but my mom signed that documentation to get my birth certificate. Well, guess what? Once you become consciously aware and you're of the age of an adult to be consciously aware of what's going on, did you sign that paper? No. So you've been unconsciously converted. So with law, how it works, just so you understand, so how it works is this, is if you have not consciously done that, well, you're not binded to that contract. Okay, so this is very important. This is real. This is a reality because what happens is now this let's talk really quick about common law Well common law now. It's not about just going out there and doing whatever you want You can do what you want so long as you cause no harm to another man or woman and by the way They're supposed to be serving us in the common law So in the next couple months just so you know this is a massive movement and I everybody take out your phone too And make sure you go to earthunited.global as well this is globally happening, earthunited.global. This is where we've created, we the people, have created also an application that's gonna connect all the patriots across the world to where we can connect and say, we're forming our common law, public courthouses, and we're bringing the power back to the people. So in Canada it's happening, around the world it's happening, and it's here, so it's a reality. And just to be very clear, people say, so wait, this is going to fall, that's going to, no. Hey, if you want to be a part of that service corporation, all the best to you. But guess what? We deserve the lawful law of the land that was given to us by our creator and not taken over by these traitors. So everybody, what I just said, I want to wrap it up really quick over there. Just note that is coming. Uh, on on ne next Sunday, th coming this Sunday coming up, uh, not tomorrow, but next this Sunday coming up, uh, like Rochelle said, she mentioned, we are going to be getting together at 1 o'clock, and uh, we're going to start restoring this here in Edmonton. We have enough people here in Edmonton at the park. Yeah, it's King Kingsman Park where the Splash Park is. Yeah, Kingsman Park. We're restoring this. This is a great time to be alive. The freedom is coming back to the people. And uh, this, this wonderful, just so you know who I'm about to pass the microphone to, um, when all this COVID crap happened, uh, really, I, I came, my wife, my kids were like, we got to come down to the legislature and see if there's anybody here. I literally came over there a couple months ago when this garbage happened, and uh, I literally found out that, uh, unfortunately, there was somebody who got arrested. This is one of the first gentlemen who got arrested for just coming over here and nobody was even here. And I'm going to pass, the, his name is? Patrick. Love it. The only thing I want to know is if to do a little research what he was talking about uh, your birth certificate If you go look at an Ontario birth certificate at the very bottom of the birth certificate. It says a banking trans a banking note I come from Quebec at the bottom of mine. It's written in French mind you 
It says that this is a piece of paper that identifies you, that we own you. That's on my birth certificate, saying they own me. You know? Go check out your Alberta one. It's, there's something that's going to be written on those too. I have no idea what it is. But do research and you'll see how, <laughs> how they're trying to control us completely. Anyways, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Woo!